had to take him to church on this one. <laughs> Cause the devil is alive. And I know it. Fucking cast you, bitch. Uh. Definitely creating a shape and a, and a look based off of a face profile and stuff like that. So, I mean, in a lot of ways, it's, it's similar to sculpting or anything like that if you, if you really look at it that way, which a lot of people don't. You know, they're used to the fast, convenient American way of gray clips or whatever. So, yeah, for me, it's different. It's much different. Lifestyle for me. It's, yeah. it's still like I'm shaping my own, my own look. I have my own interpretation of, of what their what their head and their face shape is. So, look at you into the barber. Wow. What was the point of view? So, what's going on in your life at this time? Not a whole lot, man. Honestly, uh, a lot of partying, late nights, some trouble. Um, yeah, and then, uh, yeah, so I started just cutting, cutting some of my homie's hair, like, at the house, and, uh, my sister was actually a cosmetologist, and that, that was kind of my intro into the, the hair world. I had a dude, uh, Bird, actually, he's like, yo, this is, like, the best haircut I ever had, so I was like, cool, and, uh, didn't even know we had a barber school here, and, uh, like, two months later, I enrolled, and, that was kind of my start in, into the hair industry. So. Yeah, I definitely remember that. That was chill. I, I disappeared. Didn't do that for us to do. In my age. How long did it take you to finish barber school? I mean, it was only about nine, like seven months or something like that. So. In that seven months, was it hard for you to obtain your goal and finish? Or? I mean, yeah, because they don't really teach new school stuff here. I know it's a very, uh, very old mentality on like gentlemen's cuts and stuff like that. Obviously, you get good with the straight razor. So there's not a lot of ethnic cutting, basically. No like ethnic that. cutting, no designs, no exotic looks or anything you would see in the south or like any any place like that. Not at all. Um, so that was something I really like spent a lot of time on YouTube and shit like that, and uh, really got. I mean, started just practicing. I started just like chalking up mannequin heads. I was like buy people's mannequin off them. Cause you only cut it to a crew cut, so I'd buy their mannequins off them for five bucks, and I'll just start putting designs on them and stuff like that. So that's kind of how I got started, in, in, as far as that goes. For so most dudes that come to you, the only thing that they want, I'm, I'm, I've been to the barbershop and I see a lot of it. It's a basic fade. Yeah. So do you remember your fade, your first fade on a human being? I mean, yeah. Um, not vividly or anything. I, I remember my first design like to a T because it's funny looking back now. But uh, first fade, it was probably more of like a taper fade, but uh, not so much. I mean, you fade so much every day. Like, but that's really something you have to master as a barber is the art of fading for sure. Um, now, what other aspects of life as far as you know, your day to day, your family, and yeah. you, have, you have a child, I'm guessing. Yeah, I got my daughter. She's uh, just over a year now. Uh, she just started walking, so. Definitely trying to put food on, on the table, you know, as far as that goes. And uh, making money off something you're passionate about. I mean, that's important for me. I've done the whole like, construction thing, I mean, all that stuff, and just didn't really didn't really fit in there. So, um, but it's definitely a grind, man, for sure. Well, I think that I know we're going to leave this live.